Looks like this video is going to have to be in two parts because I accidentally pushed start. <laughs> Sorry about that. And here we go, 1926. Looks like someone's still visiting these graves. There's still flowers on them. And here we have a big, big monument. I wonder if it's just from the church or... No, there's nothing written on it. And this is a more recent one from 1980s. Here it's just interesting. I always find these interesting. It's like they're reserved like a little tomb. This one is from 59 year old 1951. It's like he reserved a little spot for him. Maybe he just didn't want anybody walking on his grave. It's possible. <laughs> Here are a nice row of older graves too. This one looks like it's been repaired, but it's actually like that. Again, the artwork over here is pretty amazing. This looks like some kind of a sect or something. If anybody knows what that is, leave me a comment. 1943. This one got a little bit damaged with time, unfortunately. Wow. <laughs> it's like he's shaking hands with God. Got some crosses here. Nineteen thirty-two. As I film these things, I'm very careful where I walk because I don't want to stand or walk over anybody's grave. Out of respect. Okay, those two are too new. These guys look pretty old. Actually, not that bad. Fifty, fifty-four. Hmm. We have another metal one here. Nineteen fifty-four. These are all from the 50s. We have a nice little row of these white. I'm not sure if they're painted or if the stone itself is white. 1948, 47. Let's take a closer look. It looks cracked, so maybe. Yeah, it's basically painted, painted concrete. Yeah, I can see the concrete over here. Over here in this corner. A lot of grasshoppers here today. <laughs> Ah, this is like a reserved grade. Wow, it's always sad. Germain naissance, that means this is the grave of a newborn. That's pretty sad. Oh, let's see over here. Here apparently there was once a stone and somehow it's vanished over time. You can see over here. We're going to head to this corner over here. Huh. Someone's tried to do some restoration over here by propping it up with a piece of wood to keep the stone from falling over. I wonder how old that is. Hard to see. 1943. Wow. I don't know how long that's going to last, but at least someone's making an effort. This is interesting. Concrete with a steel cross. Hmm. I'm going to walk over here because I don't want to... 1931. Oh, she was young. 2331. Here someone did some repair work. You can see where a stone has been like repaired in half. 1919. That's not bad. This is like the one we saw earlier. It's kind of interesting the way they put the stones to mark the corner. To make sure nobody walks on his grave, I guess. 1929. This is the only guy back here. 1929 again. Oh, so nice and peaceful here, as you can see, right by the ocean. All the graves. Really, really nice. 1995. I don't usually show newer graves like this, but the shape of the stone really stands out. Really, really cool. Got a nice little heart next to it. And here we have a wooden stone, well, wooden marker from 1930. Hmm. I may have already shown you that, but <laughs> here it's, we've seen these. Let's go on the other end over here, where my girlfriend is. It's mostly newer graves, so I'm not going to really film much over there, because I don't have respect to the families. 
if uh, someone died too recently and I showed their grave online, it uh, could be painful to some people. There's something I want to show you over here, next to these guys here. There's like, they're all oriented that way. These two somehow are oriented differently. Curious why. There's no name on this marker. Again, cast iron. Looks like it's hand forged, hand wrought. And here, 1915. Hmm. Really cool. Here we have a wooden marker. I'm not going to show the front of these stones because the graves are still fresh. So I don't want to. Oh. I know this is a new one, but I find this really special. They have a picture engraved on a copper plate. That's really special. May she rest in peace. And here we're getting to new factory, new graves, so I'm not gonna show you too much there. Oh, look at that. They have like a double stone there. That's unusual. Little figurines. And here, just an M. Here they have, okay, that's a bit too. When they show fresh pictures, I don't want to show them because, like I said, I don't want to hurt anybody. And here, the graves look to be pretty new. Ah, this is smart. Whoever did this used a kind of mechanism to keep the wind from blowing it away with a brick. Because the wind over here is pretty strong sometimes. This one did it too. Both these guys. <clears throat> There's one I want to show you back here. Be very careful not to walk on anybody. I'm not going to show you the name, but look at that! Look at that sculpture. Isn't that amazing? Really beautiful. Wow. That's pretty. <sighs> and the rest are pretty new. Right next to this church over here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first two-part grave exploration video. And I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much. Bye.